starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and, of course, Lassie. Think you better finish your milk before you run out and play? Okay. Mail came. Oh, Package good. for you, Ruth. Why? Oh, that must be the stationery. Whew, that was quick. I only ordered it last week. What's this? That's a package for Timmy. For me? What is it? I have no idea. Why don't you open it and find out? Dear Mr. Martin, it must be for you, Dad. Oh? Hmm. It gives us great pleasure to inform you that you have won. No, I don't think so this time that you have won fourth prize in the vitamin tablet guessing contest conducted by our store. Your guess of 10,043 missed the exact total by only 1,957, which proves conclusively that good things come in small packages. We do hope you will enjoy your prize as we have enjoyed having you for a customer. Yours very truly, Calverton Drug Company. Oh, my. Well, why did you win? Slides in here, and you wind her up, and snap the back shut. Now, you gotta make sure it's tight, because if you don't, you'll spoil everything. All right, now, you stand over there by Lassie. Now, smile. You too, Lassie. Please, can I try it now? Oh, sure. It's all set. Just point it straight and snap the shutter easy. Get second, please. You not only can, but you may. Oops. <laughs> may I have some more, please? Thank you. What's the matter, son? You unhappy? Two whole pictures left, and nothing else to take. Oh, Timmy, you must have overlooked something. No, there's one of you and Dad, one of Uncle Petrie and one of Lassie, and even one of the cow, and one of the hen and the chicks. See, that gives me an idea. What does? Well, I have to go down to the cornfield in a minute. Do you know what I saw down there the other morning? What? Three ring-necked pheasants, two cocks and a hen. What about them? Why, they'd make a wonderful picture. Do they have chicks? Not this time of year. 
They're all grown now. Hunting season starts tomorrow. I hope the fences are posted. Posted? No hunting signs. Oh. All except the South 40. That's why we have to go down there. Those birds have been having a time for themselves, cleaning up ever since we harvested. Yep, practically tame now. Uh, can I, I mean, may I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, you may. They won't go very far, Timmy. Not with plenty of food around. Oh, uh, Timmy, could you bring some salt to put on their tails? I want to catch them. I just want to take pictures of them. And anyway, you can't fool me with that one. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Mr. Martin. Hold up a minute. I'd kind of like to have a word with you. Hi, Amos. What brings you over this way? You're still working for Mr. Farrell, aren't you? Oh, no. I quit him over a month ago. No, I'm just sort of checking the bird population hereabouts, you might say. Oh? Yeah, uh, hunting season opens tomorrow, you know. Yeah, we know. That's why we're putting up those new signs. Well, now, so you want all the birds for yourself, huh? Well, you sure got a flock of them around here. You ought to get your limit every day. We don't hunt. Y you don't? Well, then, now, maybe you wouldn't mind if I'd bring a hunting party out here. There'll be no hunting on my land. If they're on this side of the fence, that's my property. Any trespassing, and I'll prosecute to the fullest extent of the law. Oh, all right. All right. Now, if that's the way you feel about it. But there ain't no harm asking. No, Amos. There's no harm in asking. <laughs> Good for you, Paul. Paul. Wake up, Timmy. Wake up. Come on. <laughs> and you took so many pictures, you got bored and fell asleep, eh? I didn't get any. They wouldn't stand still long enough for me to take the pictures. Well, they wouldn't, eh? And you said they were tame. You know what? You know what? Maybe we can get them to take their own picture. Now, what do you think of that? You're teasing me again. No, I'm not. Honest. Really? How? Here. I'll show you. You see now? When a pheasant, or even a deer, comes walking by here at night on his way to the stream yonder to get a drink of water, he knocks up against this string and... Sets off the flash bulb. And takes his own picture. Make it really work? Sure. Saw how it was done once in a camera magazine. Gosh, but how do we know when we got him? Well, first thing in the morning, we'll come down and see if the flash bulb's been fired. Why do we have to wait that long? Now you better do as your Uncle Petrie says. There's a little thing called sleep, you know. <laughs> about that camera, you haven't even touched your milk. But, Mom, I just got the camera yesterday. Well, you all set, Uncle Petrie? Just about. I'll get Lassie. Where is Lassie? In my room, still sleeping. I figured she was tired. I guess dogs have to make up sleep, too. I'll go get her. Lassie! 
see. Lassie, what's the matter? She's hurt her leg. How did it happen, girl? Well, there's no bones broken. Seems to be a bruise up near the shoulder. A hot pack will help take the soreness out. Oh, Timmy, you go ahead with the others, and I'll look after Lassie. Sure, Timmy. You let your mother handle it. We'll go check on the camera, huh? Well, okay. Matter boy. I'll take care of her. You wait here with me, Lassie. Don't you just lie down and take it easy for a while. Well, they'll be back soon, Lassie. <laughs> well, all right. It'll make you any happier. But you'll be sure and tell them that it was on your direct orders that I let you go. having his picture taken and uh, flew away with it. Gosh, could he really, Dad? He's only teasing you. Like the salt? What'd you find? No camera, but there's sure been a scuffle of some kind here. This stubble has been stepped on and broken down. <laughs> Get the law on you for sicking that dog on me. Nobody sicked her on you, Amos. Lassie wouldn't attack anybody without provocation. Well, this time she did. A mean, ordinary dog like that ain't got no business running around loose. You'll find nobody around here agrees with you, mister. Besides, Lassie's got a right to guard our property. Well, this ain't your property. Well, just make sure you stay over there, then. Come on. We'll go home now. Come on, Lassie. <laughs> Hi, darling. We have a visitor. Oh, hi, Sheriff. Hi, Paul. Petrie, how are you? Hi, Sheriff, to what do we owe the pleasure of your company? Well, I'm mighty embarrassed, Paul. Oh, then this isn't a social call. Well, you eat at a man's table, and then you have to deliver some unpleasant orders. Doesn't seem right. Well, what's wrong? Well, Amos Lovejoy swears that Lassie attacked him. He must have done something to her. Lassie would do that just for nothing. Uh, easy, boy. Yes, we did have words this morning, and then Amos got hot under the collar because we wouldn't let him shoot on our land. Only thing I can figure is, when Lassie saw him raise that shotgun, she probably thought he was threatening us. Where was this? Down by the South Meadow. On your property? No, open land. Well, that doesn't leave me much choice, then. Here. What's he mean? From now on, you're going to have to keep Lassie on a leash whenever she's out of the house. Otherwise, we'll have to take her away from you. I'm sorry. in the world ever happened to you, boy? I was trying to give Lassie a run, and she forgot all about the leash and pulled the bike over. Oh, now, that's too bad. How is she ever going to get any exercise having to be tied up? Tell you what. What? Why don't you take Lassie for a run down the cornfield? Run? That's right. We'll give her some exercise, and 
While you're down there, take another look around for that camera. Kind of got sidetracked yesterday by that scalawag Amos. And I clean forgot all about it. I bet last you can find it. Come on, girl. <laughs> We're not getting any place. If I don't get this rope untangled, we'll never find that camera. hardly touched your dinner. I guess I'm not hungry. Well, Timmy, now that Lassie's found the camera, why do you say we rig up the kitchen as a dark room? What's that? Well, that's a place for developing pictures. Well, I got a red light bulb and some trays out in the barn. Hey, can we? Yes, surely. We wash them off good with fresh water, and then we see what we got. <laughs> and let's see what this one is. What's that one, Uncle Petrie? I can't make it out. Well, it sort of looks like Lassie to me, but this time she's mother to a flock of chickens. <laughs> you must have forgot to wind it again. Can we develop some more? And can I do them this time? Can I? Well, you not only can, but you may. Well, I'm sorry, Ruth, Paul, but the law holds with Amos here. Yeah, you tell him, Sheriff. If Lassie did attack Amos again, I'll have to take her into custody. Oh, but that's ridiculous. Lassie wouldn't do a thing like that. She's a gentle dog. She's not vicious. I know it, and you know it. But as long as Amos has evidence to the contrary, he's within his rights. Well, now, who says we don't have evidence to the contrary? Uh, what, what are you spouting about? Take a look at that, Sheriff. Well, I don't understand, Petrie. What's this supposed to prove? Ask Amos. He'll tell you. That's your picture, ain't it? Yeah. Uh, so what? It don't prove nothing. Oh, yes, it does. This picture was taken with Timmy's new camera. We set it up in the South 40 and triggered it with a string. So some wild critter would take his own picture. You mean the camera was on your property? Yes, siree. But we didn't expect to catch this farmer there. We had signs up, and I warned him, too. Lassie was just doing what any good watchdog would have done under the circumstances. Well, it looks like you were trespassing, Amos. You had to be. That's why Lassie was limping. You can see he kicked her. Well, I'd say this picture makes a lot of things clear. Looks like the shoe's on the other foot, Amos. You folks want to press charges? Well, no, no, I, I didn't do nothing wrong. I was just trying to scare them birds that they were hoarding out into the open. You were trespassing, Amos, and you know it. Well, I don't think Amos will do it again now that Lassie's free to take care of things. Isn't that right, Bill? Keep that dog away from me now. Keep him away. Oh, I'm sorry I had to bother you, folks. We understand. Will you have a cup of coffee? I'd like to if I had more time. See you later. So long, so long Bye. Bye. It's lucky for Lassie that she found this. Sure is. It was lucky we had that camera rigged up the way we did. Let's do it again. Now, Timmy, it's way past your bedtime. I know, Mom. Please, just one picture of all of us. 
The way Uncle Petrie showed me how. All right, just one. Let's go. Come on, Les. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that's the kind of picture your camera takes, Timmy, maybe it wasn't so lucky Lassie found it after all. <laughs>